This is Jacob with IndieHangover.com, and this is the second week in review for Meditation Games. Uh, my apologies for being so late in getting this on our channel. Uh, last week was a bit of a chaotic nightmare for me with day job drama and some sickness afflicting me. Uh, so all in all, it was just hard to get the time to finally finish this. Luckily, I'm off on Martin Luther King Day, and we'll be putting this out on this Monday. So I hope you enjoy uh, seeing what games were created this week by these different artists. First up, on Tuesday, January 8th, we have a game by Lucas Gilbo, and apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Uh, Lucas, in his opening quote, talks about how in 2015, he had a particularly tough year. Um, it was in a really dark place. One of the things he used to do to clear his head was to take walks in the forest with his mother and his dog. Um, this little game encapsulates that joyful experience uh, perfectly of going on a walk with a pet. Uh, he talks about how he found it funny that his dog would just start running around for no reason, barking at bushes and going crazy, um, which is encapsulated perfectly in this. A nice little heartwarming moment at the end uh, with Master and Dog. Wednesday, January 9th, was the day I was stricken with sickness, so I am taking footage from Rangarafi, which we uh, used last week, uh, right on him for doing daily videos of this. Um, this is a game by Kristen Nido, again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, and the quote uh, associated with this game is, a diagram showing the relationship between people in several, g several generations of a family. I get a very significant Mendel vibe from this game. And I love the painterly aesthetic that it utilizes. Uh, right at my alley. It's a very simple, short game, but uh, quite beautiful. On Thursday, January 10th, uh, the game was made by Cullen Dwyer. Um, I'll admit, when I first read his quote, which I've left up here for a little bit so people might be able to read, I did not really understand what was going to happen. Um, I didn't realize that this was, again, going to be about um, a pet and the importance of a pet in someone's life. So Cullen, uh, growing up, talks about um, waking up in the middle of the night and sneaking downstairs to uh, sleep with his best friend, his, his dog. Um, and then uh, one time as he grew older and sicker, um, he crawled into bed with him, with Cullen, um, and in the morning he had, had slipped away, he had passed. Um, this game mirrors another game that later in the week in the way that it subtly shows loss, and uh, I've been surprised at how adept um, a few of these meditation games have been at showing that. This this fading away that slowly happens as you toss this ball to your little um, your little dog friend here uh, is, uh, at least in my case, was really impactful. I've lost uh, a couple of dogs over the course of my, my life, um, and that kind of emptiness you feel when they're just not there to do a fun activity or just be there uh, in a place that they were is, uh, is certainly felt. Really, really well done, Cullen, um, in, in such a subtle way. The game on Friday, January 11th, was created by a whole bunch of people. Uh, Rami Ismail, Timber, Colin McCardle, uh, Big Man Joe, and SisQ all contributed to this game. Uh, I'll admit being a little frustrated by this game, but I should have paid more attention to the quote that was given. Uh, that quote was, Some choices are terrifying no matter what you try, and that could not be more true. Uh, for this game. No matter what you do, no matter what you click, there's only one option, to press the space bar. And pressing that space bar gets you a big red circle with a cross through it uh, every time. It is frustrating. It is stressful, uh, which it does say. Uh, the, the line on the opening browser was, the me this meditation could be stressful and could feature loud sounds and flashing lights. Um... But that's kind of the point, at least that's what I took away. This is an exercise in frustration and in dealing with that frustration. 
and this drone comes in at the very end of the game. Just uh, not a necessarily pleasant, but uh, does get you thinking about an emotion you might not normally. Saturday, January 12th game was created by Danielle Illet. Again, apologies. Um, who talks about being a compulsive project juggler, something I'm sure many people uh, <laughs> that are watching this channel can can sympathize with. Um, that whole feeling of starting a new project <laughs> before finishing the old one. Uh, it's almost like you're herding sheep, which is exactly what Daniel's um, game uh, is. You are simply here herding these... Annoying little sheep that don't do what you want them to do. Um, I'm not going to play the whole of this one, uh, but suffice to say, you can manage to herd all these sheep into the pen uh, to complete the game. Uh, great, great pixel art in this. Um, and though it's simple, it is probably the most gamey of the games uh, from this week. The game for Sunday, January 13th, was made by Kimo Latinen, and uh, like the game uh, from the 10th, which was the game talking about the loss of uh, a dog, this also deals with loss, in this case, of a grandmother. Um, Kimo talks about visiting her grandmother to, to sip a cup of red currant juice and eat a bun, and drink a cup of coffee. Uh, simple moments. Um, she talks about how her fondest memories of her grandmother are not of major events or epic adventures, but the simple Sundays of just sharing time. Um, I, as you can hear, clicking around, trying to find what is meant to happen in this. But like those Sundays, it's not about what's meant to be happening. It's simply about these moments and how they fade which you'll soon see um, in the same way as the fading of that dog uh, was portrayed um, this little short artistic experience does a great job of, of showing the that fading memory that fading presence of an important figure in one's life um, obviously different from the other one, but uh, subtly shown in a, in a similar mechanical way, which I think is incredibly powerful. And uh, kudos again to Kimo for, for pulling off such an emotional moment so simply. The final game from this week was Monday, January 14th game by Jordan Magnuson, uh, which relates to the birth of Magnuson's uh, son, born on a cold day in the end of November 2017. Um, unfortunately, try as I might, I could not get this game to do anything. Uh, which is a bit sad, considering how a joyous uh, a quote it was. Simply flashed with a gray screen, flashed yellow, and this was, this was it. And then it closed. Um... I'm sorry if there's more to it, Jordan, um, but I could not get anywhere further. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the past weeks um, through to the 14th meditation games. Like always, we're going to have a link in the description below to the meditation game launcher if you'd like to experience these yourself.